Hello. Today we will show you how to simulate the movement of the liquid in Cinema 4D 2026. First, let's create a pool. For this, create a tube. Increase the outer and inner radii to 200 and 180 cm respectively. And set the rotation segments to 100. Create a cylinder. Increase the radius to 300 cm. Reduce the height to 10 cm. Increase the rotation segments to 100. Go to the coordinate step and set the PY to minus 50 cm. Create a connect object. Select the tube and cylinder in the object manager and make them children of the connect. And rename the connect to pool. Right click on the pool in the object manager. Select simulation text. And click on collider to define the pool as obstacle. Now let's fill the pool with water. Create a basic emitter by opening the simulate menu, selecting emitters and clicking on basic emitter. Go to the coordinate step, set the px to minus 180 cm, py to 110 cm and rh to minus 90 degrees. Go to the emission tab, change the shape to circle, reduce the size x and size y to 50 cm, increase the rate of particle emission to 14,000 per second. Check the range box and increase the duration of particle emission to 100 frames. Go to the property step and increase the speed to 500 centimeters. Create a liquify modifier by opening the simulate menu, selecting modifiers and clicking on liquify. And make the liquify modifier a child of the particle group which was created together with the basic emitter. Extend the timeline to 170 frames and press the play forwards button in the animation toolbar. Stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. Create a liquid mesh object to surround particle with a polygon hull. For this, open the simulate menu and click on liquid mesh. Press the play for us button. Stop the animation and go to the start. Now let's apply the material to the liquid mesh. To do this, open the asset browser, search for water, drag and drop the water material you like onto the liquid mesh in the object manager, close the asset browser, select the liquid mesh in the object manager, go to the export tab, Switch the geometry property to ON and press the play forwards button. You can make particles invisible in the viewport by double clicking on the top visibility dot to the right of the particle group in the object manager. Stop the animation and go to the start. Now let's check out how collision between liquid and rigid body objects works in Cinema 4D 2026 by dropping a solid object in the pool. Create a cylinder, go to the object tab, increase the radius to 100 cm, reduce the height to 40 cm, increase the rotation segments to 100, go to the coordinate step and set the PY to 200 cm. Right click on the cylinder in the object manager, select simulation text and click on rigid body to define the cylinder as a solid object. Go to the mass tab of the rigid body tag 
and increase the density to 3. To make the cylinder fall not immediately, but only after filling the pool with water, go to the basic tab of the rigid body tech, make sure that the time slider is at frame 0, uncheck the enable box, and click on the diamond to the left of the enable property to create the first keyframe. Then move the time slider to frame 110, check the enable box, and create the second keyframe. Go to the start of the timeline and test the animation. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.